Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I hope you guys are all doing well. So I cannot believe we reached the end of the year already and I just looked at my calendar and I was like, oh shoot. I haven't done a video in so long. I owe it to you guys. So I figured I would just hop on really quickly and do my favorites video because we are coming to the end of the year. So I just wanted to share with you guys what I loved this whole year because I know people do like monthly favorites videos. So I figured I'd just combine everything into everything that worked out for me this year. And I also have a little reveal for you guys. So if you guys are interested in seeing what my favorites are and the reveal, then please keep watching. Okay, so I am kind of surrounded by everything like right here. So if you see me just like figuring out what to talk about. That's why it's like all like here. So I wanted to start with like skincare and makeup initially. So skincare first, right? This is my favorite serum ever. And this is the FAB Beauty Niacinamide Serum. I love this stuff. Honestly, if you don't have niacinamide in your skincare, please just go ahead, buy yourself a serum because it's going to do wonders for your skin. So I love this. It makes your skin look so hydrated and plump and beautifully shiny. Like, not shiny as in oily is what I meant by beautifully shiny. So this just does it all. It just makes your skin feel and look so refreshed. So I cannot recommend this beauty enough. This is like almost done. It's kind of like this white and milky serum. As you can see, I have, don't worry, I have backup, but yeah. It slides on your skin and it's just, it's beautiful. I thought this is making a difference, but like, I love this. I use it in the morning and night and it changed my skin so much. I cannot be without this and I recommend this to you guys 100%. The next thing that I want to talk to you guys is my new found foundation of the year and concealer. So it is by Rose Ink. So this is their Skin Enhanced Luminous Tinted Serum. So this is so, so perfect for every day. Like I cannot stress to you guys. Like So this like literally makeup little foundation balls in like a hyaluronic acid kind of base. So... This is what it looks like when I pump it out. Do you, do you see what that looks like? But this gives you so much coverage. Like, I seem like it's perfect for every day. Like, do you see when I like blend it out? Especially on top of that FAB serum, it just blends it out and you're, it's so lightweight and beautiful. And whenever I'm wearing this in like pictures and like real life, people always reach out to me and be like, what foundation are you wearing? And I'm like, it's this one. Trust me, if you haven't tried it, this is perfect for every day. So this is something that I found in the beginning of the year. And this is like my second bottle. It's halfway done. And you be better believe I have backup of this one. One too. And then to go with this, this is the new um, concealer that I found. So I love this because it's like clean beauty and it does not, it's not heavy at all. Like I'm wearing this combination on my face today and I love it. And let me tell you, this concealer is full, full coverage. I used to use the Huda Beauty one, but I like this one so much better. Like especially now because I don't sleep at all now so this is wonderful in covering up all my dark circles and I don't know I think I really like this two together I'm kicking myself for not trying this the second this came out but I'm glad I have it in my collection now and then you guys too if you're looking for like an everyday kind of foundation and concealer duo I definitely recommend these two right here and let me show you the tip of this right here so it's like this really kind of fat doe foot applicator which is so comfortable and i just love it so this is perfect and it blends out well using a brush and a beauty blender so i personally like brushes more but initially when i get like a new product i like to try it out using the brush and the sponge to see which one it works well with and honestly for this either works fine so another wonderful find for me this year my next favorite category are lip balms so you guys these are my absolute favorite right here so this is the baby one because i can't i think it's in one of my work bag the original one but this is the dior lip glow oil and this one i have in literally all the colors but this one is my absolute favorite i know one of you guys actually reached out 
out too. I think it's my video comparing my leather versus the um, canvas multi push it SS Warren reached out and asked what I was wearing on my lips and it's this one right here and it's in the shade mahogany it's my favorite one I honestly love all of them but this just I already have product on but I'm just gonna put it on right now and show you guys like this is the doe foot applicator and it's just stunning like it gives you like the slightest hint of color and it's so hydrating and I just absolutely love it the only thing you need to watch out for with this product is when you are putting it back make sure you don't get any product on the side because it gets a little bit messy and I know that because my daughter got into it and she was playing with it and it was everywhere and it made a little bit of a mess so just a little heads up on that but other than that product wise this is amazing and it's always sold out for because it is so great so if you happen to find this in store or online definitely definitely pick it up because it's a beautiful beautiful product and I love my favorite two ones are this one and the clear because the clear especially when I'm like wearing mask at work I like to go for the clear one because I don't want like makeup or lip stuff in my mask so that's that and this one is another one of my favorite favorite ones i cannot tell you guys how many times i've repurchased this 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 year it's just perfect and i also love that it comes in this color as well so this is the plain one and this is the vanilla beige color i also have the poppy so let's see that color right there it's stunning i can't put everything on you guys or i would have showed you guys but trust me this is absolutely beautiful with like a lip liner underneath stunning and it's so hydrating and my absolute favorite lip balms ever another one of my favorite makeup products that i found is this eyeshadow by charlotte tilbury how stunning is this packaging like honestly beautiful so this is called the hypnotizing pop shot and this is kind of like their you know how her original quads have like one shiny little top one so i believe this is that and i, I have it in the shade rose gold it's beautiful it's what i'm wearing on my eyes today it's it's i love that this like on my skin tone it's it's kind of subtle it's not like too blingy it's just perfect for every day i don't know if my um camera is picking it up well at all but like for a swatch this is what it looks like and then do you see how beautiful that is there you go i absolutely love this thing and i have this in another shade as well but i'm just mentioning this one to you because this is my favorite favorite shade out of the entire collection so definitely get your hands on this if you can i actually picked it up when i went to nordstrom because i couldn't find it in my sephora um when i was like trying to look for this so perfect perfect little addition gives your eyes the perfect pop that you need for any makeup look the next thing is my favorite deodorant and it's the necessaire multi-acid deodorant gel so i love this thing this is the one without any scents because i didn't really care for they have like eucalyptus as well as like sandalwood i believe um but i prefer this because then it doesn't like combine with my perfumes and just turn into something weird so this is amazing I've been on the lookout for clean deodorant for God knows how long now and nothing seems to work. So when I found this, this is the only thing that works and I love it. Uh, again, I've repurchased this so many times. I think this is like my third or fourth one um, so far. I love it. And I also, I forgot to bring it in, but I've been also using the body wash and it is amazing. In the body wash, I did get the sandalwood scent and I really like it. So I think, I believe that comes in like different scents as well. But people have been raving about this brand and I really want to try it. And I did and I love it. And same with the hand cream too. Um, this brand it makes amazing hydrating hand cream. I just wish they had different packaging because it's that metal tube. So it gets kind of weird and wrinkly and I feel like um, you lose a lot of product that way. So you can't really get every single little drop out. So that's my only concern about it. But this one, body wash and the hand cream, I definitely, definitely love. I will insert pictures um, just so you guys know what I'm talking about. All right, now my favorite, favorite perfume. And obviously, you know which one it is. The internet's like blowing up. It's this one right here. It's the Baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Francis Cartesian Paris. This is love right here, you guys. This is the best smelling perfume ever. Um, mm, I get so many compliments when I wear this. 
and I just can't believe I didn't try it before this year. I love this so much. Now, I want to mention to you guys, this is crazy expensive and lo and behold, I have dupes for you guys. So this is the Dossier Ambery Saffron as well as this is the Okcha Sweven. Kind of weird name. So price-wise, I believe this is the cheapest. I will link it down below for you guys. I can't quite remember. And then this is the Dossier one and as well as the original. So for comparison's sake, this is OG. Lasts really long, smells wonderful, yada yada, 10 on 10, right? Now, these two, I want to say that this one is a little bit more muskier, and this one does last a while, and this one, on the other hand, when I compare it to the original, it's it actually is a tiny little bit lighter and a little bit more subtle and floral. So this would be perfect for like every day. This is my second bottle. I love this thing. So I'll be completely honest with you guys. Depending on where I'm going, I just pick between these three. Obviously, I'm going to like an important function or whatever it is or party. I wear the original because I need it to last and I just, I don't know. I'm completely honest with you guys, okay? So if I'm going to the like the grocery store, I just spritz this on and then every day for work, I go with this. So it's like the same scent, but for three different purposes for me because you guys, I'm not gonna put this on when I'm just like running out to do my errands and you know, cause I still wanna smell good. So that's where these come in handy and dupe wise, if you guys can only pick one, I would pick the dossier one because it's just, this one's a little bit more musky and I don't like how when the perfume gets on here, like this gets a little bit tarnished. This is well loved to you guys, but yeah, so I don't like that about this. And then if you've like shaved and then you spray this on, it burns. So I don't know. Dupe wise, I definitely say go for the Ambry Saffron from Dossier. It's beautiful, stunning, and the bottle is amazing. Like look at this magnetic cap. So wonderful, amazing. I don't think this, this will probably be in every single one of my yearly favorite videos from now on because this is just amazing. Um, there's also another one that I wanna try uh, by this brand that has like the same kind of ambery notes. I will put up a picture of it, um, but I still have to go to the store and kind of get a, a, smell that out and see how it is. But compared, this is, this is king for me. All right, now let's get to a little bit of my luxury stuff. And I want to mention my favorite SLG of the year. It's this little guy right here. It's my Monogram Recto Verso. So I know I initially did a video comparing the leather Recto Verso as well as the Empreinte Key Pouch. And I picked the Key Pouch over the Empreinte Recto Verso. If you want to watch that video, I will link it up here now. Take a look at it. I kind of go into a little bit of the detail, but my Empreinte one had issues, the Recto Verso, so I kind of exchanged it for this one. And for whatever reason, I don't know what it is, probably because it has like a slimmer profile and it's just, I don't know, canvas. Um, I just like this one so much more and this has been my ride or die SLG as well as this and this one right here. So this is my Juliet wallet. If you guys want like a compact-ish, I like, I wouldn't call this a compact wallet because it is a little bit, she's a little bit chunky. Um, but if you want a wallet where you can like pretty much fit in everything you want, plus like a build fold area, I would clearly, I don't carry any money with me. Uh, but anyway, this is perfect because it has a pocket right here. It has a zipper pocket right here that can hold so many cards like this I just, I right right off the bat I just have like one three four five six seven eight I have eight cards in here total I can fit pretty much like ten more cards in there and then it does have card slots here as well and a pocket in the back this is amazing and I definitely think this is like bang for your buck when it comes to like, you can pretty much consider this as like a full full wallet and I love these two this year they're just Absolutely perfect, my favorite, favorite SLG so far. All right, now let's get to the bags, you guys. So I guess this is like a double reveal because I don't think I've ever showed um, this bag on my channel, but obviously I was influenced by this from Instagram, but this is the Anine Bang 
um, I forget what it's called. I will link it below. Um, I got this from Revolve and I love, love, love this houndstooth design and it's just perfect. I believe it was like 300 something for this bag. I love it. It has the flap style opening and I have it stuffed, but it does have leather on the inside like right here like leather trimming as well as like cloth interior so it's pretty much like a carefree black bag in the sense like obviously don't spill anything on it like i live right outside of chicago so if it gets like too too cold i don't mind taking this puppy out because i know it's not gonna like crack the canvas or like make the leather like dry out the leather so this is like perfect for that and i figured it would be a great little addition and i love houndstooth print for a fall and winter time i think it's beautiful with like an all black outfit this just definitely pops and the handle is also very comfortable and initially when i saw it i thought the handle looked kind of weird because it's just like a little half moon thing but like it's very nice to hold it's comfortable it lays on your shoulder well love this bag it's it's really nice i think the demand for it went up um because so many people were like showing it on instagram and stuff so i do believe the price did go up by a little bit um but nonetheless i will link it down below for you guys a sweet little bag to have in your collection it's it's definitely different the next bag i've been using is my balloon right here again you guys such a carefree bag i did like an entire review on this if you want to watch it i will link it up here now check it out um amazing amazing bag like she's perfect every day with a little bit of extra and so com i love the strap it's so comfortable i just i think this is the bag that i've been leaning to towards most of the year because it's carefree given the black leather trimming instead of um the vachetta um my only concern with this as i mentioned in the video is that this is like prone to scratching a little bit like let me see if i can if this will focus like right there do you see that so that's from my beautiful nails right there and kind of annoying so i kind of wear this on the back now so because out of sight out of mind right so this has been amazing i love it turns into crossbody as well as short shoulder which i've been leaning a lot more towards now so amazing little bag the next bag that i want to show y'all is this is kind of new to you guys in the sense i've only shown you guys my black one but this was my first chanel 19 that i got and it's in this beautiful baby pinky lilac color and it's just stunning i have i this is how i store my bag so i have the samorga chain holder chain felt I'm not sure what you call it but i use it so when i store it the chain doesn't like press on this and then have it indented so this is just what i use and i love this bag i've been so into like pillowy bags and the chanel 19 definitely takes the cake for it and i've been gravitating towards this all summer this year so um i love it i did pick this up from paris i did save some money um when i did get this but the black i got it from here so you guys saw that already um it's in my chanel haul video um, but yeah, I definitely love the 19 if I could this one and the next one I would get every single color I could so Yeah, my Chanel 19 served me so well this summer and I love her Especially because of the mixed hardware. She just makes it and I just think it's a beautiful bag initially Before I bought it. I heard um, hello catwalk city say that um, This reminds her of little like tarantula and I was like now i can't unsee it but thankfully it's okay it didn't really get too much in the way um so i don't really mm, i don't think it looks like tarantula especially in this pink one it's just a little bit more subtle and beautiful and i love her and i also love that it has a back pocket but yeah my little 19. the next one is where my reveal lies so you guys know how much I love my saddle bag. This, this has become like my favorite, favorite bag. I just love how this looks. So with this bag, I know obviously it's either you love it or hate it. I just love, 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 love it. And I did a review video on this as well. If you haven't seen it, I will link that up here as well. But 
In that video, I mentioned that I was gonna get another one in the blue oblique, and you guys, there it is. So it's not the blue oblique per se, but it's kind of similar. So I ended up going for this one right here. So this is the, here, let me, look at that, it's a cute little pouch. All right, so I ended up going for the embroidered one instead of the um, full oblique one because I figured I'd just have one of this in my collection as well. And if I wanted, I could like get my initials or whatever um, embroidered here as well, which I'm probably not gonna do. Um, but I just, I just wanted this because it's like classic Christian Dior and if it's not obvious anyway, it just says Christian Dior. And then the interior is also beautiful and it has that same embroidery. So for this one, I was wondering if I should actually get a Samorga organizer to put in here just to like, you know, protect the interior a little bit. If you guys have the embroidered version of this bag do let me know if you have it um i know my friend jenny uh from something latte said that she got the um insert actually for her leather version and she said that it takes up a whole lot more of the room so that's why i'm kind of hesitant on getting it but i do kind of want to protect it especially considering this is embroidered i don't want like things to like snag in there and then ruin the bag so I don't know, let me know, guys know what your thoughts are and I love this. I cannot wait to rock it next summer. I just see this as more of like a summer bag, especially with the blue and the white. But yeah, I'm super excited. And this is also from Europe, okay? This one is from Greece. Um, it's from, I can't, I can't remember where in Greece, but um, somewhere, I don't know. Either way, she's, she's uh, from Greece. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is my favorite, favorite. Honestly, I don't know how people say this bag is not cute. It's just, this will elevate your outfit so, so much. But anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to stop. But yeah, love my Dior saddles, okay? And the last one of my favorite bags for 2022 is my sweet little Polen Numero Un Nano right here. I love this bag so, so much. I think... Polen does bags so well and I love how their styles are so unique like even with like all the contemporary brands you can see they're like trying to copy the um, luxury brands so to speak so this I love because their designs are so original and it's just stunning and I did order another one for my birthday it's on its way next it's actually supposed to be delivered on my birthday so once I get it I will film an unboxing for you guys but love this bag love this color goes with everything and i feel like it's like the perfect color for like year round this can be used in the summer as well as winter it's just stunning and you guys this is where the rest of my lip gloss went so right here and i might as well show them to you guys too this is where my full size of the summer fridays was and then lip glow oil in rosewood and obviously my airpods and this is the hourglass lipstick this is like very natural um i kind of like this one too this is in the color indulge and then this is the limited edition little size of the summer fridays lip gloss in poppy but anyway love this bag it holds so so much it's just amazing um that uh when we went to paris um earlier this year i picked up this in the camel color for my sister-in-law and she absolutely loves it as well it's just it's just a special little bag and it's so cute look at it oh amazing 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 bag i love Polen. i'd like to add something from every single line they have so i'm slowly working towards that but yeah my beautiful little oh nano still looks great and I feel like, I'm not sure if you can see it, but like, it's like a little bit extra gray in like the textured part. So I feel like this literally cannot get dirty at all. And even if it does, it's wipeable. So it just works wonderfully well. So yeah, my beautiful little bag again. If you guys were thinking about getting this one, please do. You won't regret it. Polen is just an amazing bag. The only thing I have to say is if you're getting this from online, make sure your credit card doesn't have foreign transaction fees because they do consider it as a foreign purchase. So make sure it has a foreign transaction or 0% foreign transaction fee because I accidentally used one of my other cards and I was charged uh, a fee for it, which they were 
very nice i think it's it's this time of the year everyone's super nice this time of the year but they were able to take it off for me so just don't do what i did make sure to um keep an eye out for that before you purchase one of these beauties hey guys sorry about that i know you guys don't feel it but it's quite a while my battery died so anyway moving on my next favorite thing as you can see right here it's this pearl strap that i got from amazon so i got actually two packs for like less than twenty dollars and i absolutely love it because it just adds a little bit of bling uh to your purses and i absolutely love it it's nice it held up well i've got this i got this actually quite a few i'm sorry about the lighting but i got this quite a few months ago probably like sometime in the summer and it's just been holding up great i love it and it's like i mentioned the price is the best part again if i can't find this i will link it in the description box below for you guys because it's amazing and it's so good and like i said i use this on all of my bags i even use it as a handle on my neo no way and it's just been working out perfectly well and it's just so pretty who doesn't love pearls come on it's it's just the most feminine thing ever so love my pearls on my bag so with this we are concluding the bags segment and we're gonna get into a little bit of jewelry and miscellaneous things so as far as jewelry is concerned i have affordable as well as a little bit of fine jewelry so or not a little bit just one so my affordable jewelry that i love so much is from anna luisa and it's this set right here this is the michelle set so it comes with these three chains and this pendant right here this is my absolute go-to like if i don't know what to wear this is what i put on because it's just stunning and i love the shade of gold that um anna luisa offers so this has been a staple staple for me and i love the design on this medallion there you go how beautiful is that so this is what i've been gravitating towards since for like this has been my favorite of like 2022, 2021. Um, it's it's just amazing. I love it. And then my next favorite jewelry is our, or actually these earrings right here. So these are the Fendi hoop earrings and these are just stunning. They are like the perfect size. They're so shiny and beautiful. And see, that's just what they look like. And it's just beautiful so initially i was considering either these one or louis vuitton has kind of like the same one too not the ginormous one because i just think that's extra and it's really not practical for daily life but they have one similar to this size um but i just decided to go with the fendi one because i like the locking mechanism on this better and it's just a little bit more subtle so if you don't know it people are not gonna think that's like an f for fendi in here so this has been my go-to as well. I love, you guys know I love hoops. So these are my absolute favorite little ones. They're adorable and the price point is great too compared with the Louis Vuitton. Next one is my fine jewelry and it is this Sweet Alhambra from Van Cleef. Look how sweet this is. I'm sorry about the light, you guys. This is terrible, but look at that this is so beautiful like it's just so dainty if you want like a little bit of something like the chain is like so beautiful and dainty all you kind of see is the red right there it's beautiful my only wish is that i would have gotten the vintage size compared to this sweet one because this is just i mean i feel like this would look really good on my daughter she's two and a half I'm not gonna give her this obviously but like i feel like this would be like perfect for like the littles um but even so if i if like i've layered with this before and it just looks very sweet and dainty like that i just i just i love it um i am obsessed with this my next goal is to get like the mother of pearl or the um gold version of this because it's just stunning so that is all for my jewelry and i also want to mention really quickly these slip scrunchies i love these so much especially the skinny ones these are my absolute favorite so i have this everywhere lying around um especially because my daughter has curly curly hair and these stay put really well and then does not pull out um 
any of her hair so I love these I always have these in my bag for her and me and also I want to mention this one this is a dupe that I found on Amazon this works pretty well too and I think you get a pack of six for like 20 bucks I mean not like inexpensive but a little bit better than the actual slip one so I will link this um, down for you guys as well um, but it's just it's just a silk one I feel like everyone's like doing these nowadays but um, yeah definitely silk scrunchies must have for me the next one is a couple of nail products so lately i've been doing my own gel nails at home um i tried the dip powder but um turns out i'm allergic to it so i can't do that anymore so i've been doing my uh the shellac i'm not sure if you can see it um so this is in the color tiramisu for two but the one that i've been loving is the um opi bubble bath because it's so like natural and beautiful and what i've been loving a little bit more than this is actually this chrome powder right here so this year is when the hailey bieber nails got super popular and i loved that look and obviously it's um the one that she did was opi tin man can and obviously I couldn't find that anywhere and like you just can't buy it because it's so popular so I found these on Amazon and it comes with this little old school like eyeshadow eyeshadow tip um, brush double-sided so this is the color and it's so so beautiful I will actually insert a picture of my nails with this on top and like a white base under so what I like doing now is actually just put this on after like my base coat and it just gives you more of that glisteny kind of look without it being too opaque so yeah these have been amazing and you guys this came in a pack of four and it was less than 10 bucks and they charge us like 35 plus at the salon for this it's not worth it please start doing your own nails you guys and save some money so i feel like i've been doing it i kind of started doing it because there's just no time for me to um go to the salon because work is just crazy busy but i feel like this is just super easy and saves time and money so highly recommend doing your own nails you guys the next thing that i love are these shoes right here so these are the hermes Oran sandals so initially I got the oasis because I thought they were way more comfortable but I wore them for a while and for whatever reason this part kind of digs into my feet which is crazy because it's like essentially the same design but I find these a lot lot more comfortable so I have this in a couple other colors too like the basic white black and brown and these are just my absolute favorite so if you guys were thinking about whether like contemplating between oasis or the Orans definitely go for the Orans because these are just super comfortable, especially for the summertime. This was literally all that I wore and I walked for like miles and miles in Chicago with these and these are just stunning. I cannot recommend them enough. Now my next pair of shoes, these are actually kind of new. It's from Zara and it is these boots right here with the kitten heel. These are so comfortable you guys. Like I honestly initially got a pair of Mark Fisher ones from Nordstrom and it like the front part like the black i guess it's leather um it started like rubbing off the point where it looked like green so i had to literally buy black polish and then put it on it um just to cover that but this is amazing and it was like 50 bucks you guys i wore those out a lot and then it does have the side zippers and then it's just really really comfortable and i don't think i've had a pair of um like boots this comfortable so coming from zara it's just amazing and i was so happy to actually get my hands on these so this is another one that i highly highly recommend especially for this time of the year and i will link this um down for you guys as well so another accessory that i've been loving this year which was brand new to me this year are these sunglasses by prada and these are stunning um so this is what they look like. I got it in the brown color. Now that I think about it, I should have gotten it in the black as well. So I got these on sale actually from Sunglass Hut inside Macy. So I got these for like 25% off. So I got quite a bit of money off of it. And I love the shape of these. Like these are just stunning. And this is my absolute favorite part beside um, side bars. What do they call these? Um, I absolutely love these so much and 
I absolutely love these because like this part it kind of hides and gets all the light out and it's just really dark and nice and very soothing for my eyes and they look so so cool on and I've just been loving these I, I really do want to add the black pair of these so I've been rocking these during the summertime and they're just my absolute favorite another pair that I love which is in my car unfortunately is the Kini Kini by Maui Jim those are amazing as well so I love those for its lens so especially when I'm driving it just it's it's amazing my only fault about those is the fact that um, if you're driving and you have the heads up display and it's like showing you the speed limit and whatever um, you can't really see those with those specific lens but it doesn't bother me because every the vision like when you look through it it's like crystal crystal clear so I just don't mind that at all so I just turn that option off and I just drive like we did in the good old days and it's just perfect and i cannot recommend those enough as well um so both of these are in the same price range if you were to pick one honestly if i were to recommend one out of this one or the kini kini which i showed you guys that one in my dior um video i believe so i will link that up here if you guys want to go quickly go take a look at it i think it's in the what's in my bag segment part of that um video so check that out it's amazing i will link them down below for you guys as well definitely check them out those are really really good the next everything has to do with comfort and this cold so my first favorite thing that I want to give a shout out to is it's this coat right here from Babaton it's by group by Babaton and I believe it's called the lounge coat it's just really really comfortable and I honestly have this in black as well and another favorite thing that I have to show you to go along with this are my Uggs right here so Kind of like that same brown color it's just stunning i have this entire the same combination in black as well but these were obviously a little bit less dirty um so that's why i grabbed these i love these so much so this brown color so initially i was going for the shorter ones the ultra short ones but those i feel like they were kind of hard to put on because my ankle got stuck like between right there and i literally had to bend down and pull this up so that issue was a little bit solved with this one so this is just the classic short and i prefer these ones over the other ones and i just love it a full monochromatic comfy look with this and it's just stunning and this jacket i bought during the Aritzia sale so I got a little bit of money off of it as well and it's just stunning so actually this one was a birthday gift the black that I got on the sale from Aritzia so either way I love it I will link this down below for you guys as well because it's a stunning stunning jacket and to go with that also I want to recommend the barefoot dreams robe minus in the washer I am so not prepared I apologize but that is the best robe ever to keep you warm and toasty it feels it literally feels like a giant hug and it's just the best um, I I did try the barefoot dreams the row it's just better to get the row view just it's just it's just so much better it keeps you warm and it stays on you so you don't have to like worry about it it's just amazing I recommend that robe a thousand percent like save up get it and that's the only robe you need and it holds up really really well too so despite I think my washed mine about like a million times I only have one I love it I need to grab another one so yeah I mean it's just stunning and it just keeps you cozy and warm and if you're anything like me because I'm cold all the time it's a lifesaver and I love it so much the next thing that I want to talk to you guys of is this thing right here so this is my mini always pot from from our place and i love this thing this is like the perfect size honestly so this is just what it looks like and it's just honestly i got this thinking it's like super aesthetically pleasing with the color but i love the size it's perfect the handle that comes with it as well as um this is oven safe so this, it's just perfect for me and when I like cook stuff I want versatility so that's where this thing comes in handy and I've been loving it and I just kind of even if I'm not like cooking anything I just leave it out because it looks so pretty and that's what the bottom looks like and yeah absolutely beautiful um if I could recommend anything from our place the brand I would definitely just recommend this mini pot as well as the mini always pan I just think 
They're amazing and so versatile and I just love them and they're so beautiful to look at. That's pretty much it you guys for my favorites of 2022 video. I hope you guys enjoyed everything. If you guys are interested in any of the items that I've mentioned, I will link it in the description box below for you guys. So please do take a look at it. But other than that, I wish you guys a happy holidays. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate and love you guys so much for actually taking the time out of your day to watch me it just means a whole lot to me so thank you guys from the bottom of my heart but yeah i hope you guys all have a wonderful holiday season with your families and happy new year i will see you guys in 2023 with some more reviews and hauls and all that other stuff so if you guys want to see something um please do leave a comment down below and i'll do it and i, I already know that i owe you guys so much already and i will work on those i promise I have my boards coming up, so after that, I will bring you guys whatever you guys need to see, okay? Um, so, love you guys, take care, stay safe out there, okay? And happy new year, and I will see you guys right here with another video in the new year. Take care, guys. Bye.